Mexican knives since 1998. We make our tools in the United States. One of the things that we're most proud of is that. Uh, some of the other reasons that people pick us over other things is that we do a differential heat treat on 1095. So you end up with a blade that has a, a hardened edge and a softer spine, which makes for a stronger overall knife. Um, as you can see from the table, we have many, many models to choose from. We make just about any type of knife you could think of, so there's always something for everyone. If you had to pick just one on mm. this table, which one would you pick? You know what? That's I, I always hate that question because <laughs> I don't. I usually don't, you don't have, have to just pick one. <laughs> well, yeah, and I usually don't have well, just one. One of, your one of my favorites. One of my all-time favorites is this guy right here. So this is called the Scandi Trekker. It's a three and a half inch blade. It's uh, a modified Scandi grind. It comes in a leather sheath. The reason I the reason I would say this is kind of my standby is this will do 90% of what you need to do with a knife in almost any circumstance. And it's not too it's not too big. It's not too small. It's easy to carry. You know, it's it's just it's got a great handle, great blade. It just does. Yeah. It just does. It just does. Very cool. Yeah. All right. Second pick. Anything else? Or any new stuff that you guys have come out? And you want to kind of push? Yeah. yeah kind of promote. Stuff. So uh, these these are two new blades that no, actually nobody has seen yet. Um, First time here. Huh? This one is uh, so. There's a brand out there called Marbles, and the guys that own that wanted us to make one of one of their models, but with our take. And, and put it in our lineup. And so that's that's this. I believe it's called the Woodcraft. Um, basically, the, their version is a, a much more traditional version. It's got it's got bolsters. It's got I believe it's got a stacked leather handle. You know, so it's that really traditional. Uh, it's got the shiny blade, all all of that. And so type hunting type exactly knife, yeah. exactly. So they brought it to us. Leo was like, oh yeah, I can make it like a Topps knife. So we ended up doing our, our 1095 heat treatment on it. We've got a micarta handle with kind of a kind of a fake bolster built into it to give it that same look, but with our handle and our feel and, and, and our finishes. So I'm pretty excited about this one. It, lo it looks great. The way that handle came out is just awesome. Um, and this one should be out hopefully by the end of the year. And then... The other new one is uh, this is basically a mini gladius. Imagine the uh, you know the Roman times and they would have that short sword. It was called a gladius. Well, this is like a, a slimmed down, like a like a 2021 version. You know, so double edged, super super stabby. Um, it's got a really nice handle. Yes. This, this is one that I'm pretty excited about. This, this is going to be a cool knife. Very cool. Yeah. Awesome. Any other new stuff you want to talk about? So, one of the other things we're, we're doing here at Tops is we're... So, we're a production knife company. We make large runs of each model that we have here. We're actually working on doing what we would call a custom shop. Um, some, some things are going to be fully custom. Some things are going to be more of just a limited run. Um, so, for example... This is this is a limited run of a model we have called the Ute, and uh, basically we ran 17 of them in a different steel, a different handle, and a different finish. And we're going to put it in a different sheath, and so this is going to be the first release in the custom shop that we're doing, as basically kind of kind of like a test run. Um, it's a super limited run, so it, I imagine that in minutes these will be totally gone, and that's it. So. Um, we're going to do a lot of things like this where there's limited runs of stuff. We'll do some where there's one, where it's just Leo goes and makes a knife and we sell it in the custom shop. So it's going to be, it's going to be kind of a hodgepodge of, of limited runs of things, one-offs, you know, stuff like that. So it's going to be, uh, this is one of the things I'm, I think over the next two, three years, this is the thing I'm most excited about, is the custom shop. It's going cool. to be, it's going to be awesome. Yeah, that's going to yeah. be cool. Very interesting. New stuff coming out. That'll yep. be cool. Sure. I like it. Cool. Yeah, I love Tops Knives. There is a plethora of here, and if I... If you asked me to pick one, it'd probably be this guy right here. This Puko knife with a bow drill divot. Just fits good in the hands, and it'll do just about everything you can imagine. I like it a lot. There's also a machete that you guys 
I saw a couple years back that was legit. Do you know, uh, do you know what it's called? I don't remember. It had, you know, a thin machete type blade. I can't remember what it was. Let's see if we can find it. No, it was like a 18 inch or something. Yeah, I think maybe it was that one on the end. Yeah, there it is. Yeah, that's yeah. the one. If I had to pick a large yeah, knife, the, the it'd for. probably be this guy right here. All right. Yes. The machete. Oh yeah, well that was a two thirty. Two thirty. Yeah. That yeah. Is sweet. Yeah. So that two thirty. This is roughly twenty three inches overall. That's that's what that's about. Um, yeah. Traditional machete, absolutely. eighth of an inch thick. Yeah. Thin yeah. Blade, flexi blade. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. That's it. Yeah. Awesome. Well, thank you very much. Absolutely. Thank you.